Hi everyone, welcome to our video tutorials. Uh, Alexander and I uh, are here today to show you one of our newer uh, features and that is custom notification added uh, in Amelia that works both for email and SMS and also some uh, slightly uh, improvements in notifications and Alexander will today show us how we can uh, schedule custom notifications, what are types of them and uh, what, uh, what is new in the notification section of Amelia. Here okay, go. thank you. <clears throat> um, all right, so as always, you guys can check this out in our documentation under notification settings, custom notifications. Um, when you open a million notifications, you will see the new buttons to create new notifications for appointments and events for both the customer and the employee. So when we click on that, you get to um, write your notification name, which is basically what default notifications are in here. So for example, uh, appointment scheduled uh, or appointment cancelled custom notification. We, uh, it is automatically enabled and you can choose if it's going to be triggered by some change uh, of an appointment status. For example, if it's approved, pending, cancelled, rejected or rescheduled or if it's going to be a scheduled notification which is going to be sent before, after, or on the day. Um, so, for example, action triggered notification when there's an, a cancelled uh, appointment, which can apply only to some services. So you can basically choose which service you want this uh, notification to enable. And uh, one question, uh, what are about the other services? Are they getting the old notification? And how do you exclude the, those that you selected there? to prevent uh, receiving the old one. Mm, yeah, when you enable this, send only this notification, uh, the cancelled notification, which is this, will not be sent to these selected services. Mm -hmm. And the other services will receive the regular appointment cancelled notification. Okay, and if you disable that button? If you disable this button, both notifications will be sent. So okay. this custom notification and the default one, if it's checked here, if it's mm -hmm. enabled. If this is disabled, no one will receive the default appointment cancelled notification. But these unselected services will also receive no notification that the appointment has been cancelled. So if we want to create a different notification for each service, we yes. can duplicate that one and then create Of course, separate. yeah, you can... You can uh, set the notification name so you can say that this is for uh, service one cancelled custom and uh, basically only select service one for example mm -hmm. this service um, send only this notification and you can figure the notification here so let's say we're sorry to inform you that your appointment has okay. been cancelled and uh, that's it so when we click create the notification will be will be created and now you will see the duplicate or delete options right here mm -hmm. so uh, you can duplicate this uh, notification for the customer or the employee mm -hmm. and for example you created a custom notification for service one so you duplicate it and this is a duplicate now so service two and all you need to do is change uh, something in, in the notification. For example, if uh, these are VIP customers, you can offer some discount. Uh, so please accept our apology and this discount. Okay. And you select and the second service right here. Okay, and this way we can create basically different notification for your service. That's right, that's okay. right. So we now have two custom notifications that work when the appointment is cancelled and for those two uh, services the default appointment cancelled notification will not be sent. Mm -hmm. um, in case of scheduled notifications again this is the same so you choose the service or services whether it's going to be <coughs> out of bless you, <clears throat> automatically uh, enabled so the uh, other um, notification is not sent and here you can choose when it's going to be sent so uh, previously we only had the next day reminder but mm -hmm. here you can choose for example one hour 
before the appointment. So the notification could be here uh, just to remind you that you have an appointment in one hour. Mm -hmm. Great. So uh, it can also be used for follow-up mm -hmm. uh, notification. So for example, if one uh, appointment follow-up where you include hours is not enough, mm -hmm. you can choose months. So for example, uh, six months uh, after the appointment, uh, if for example, you're, a, you're a, a medical institution, you want to ask your customer, hey, how are you feeling after the appointment that you had? Uh, then you can add appointment date time mm -hmm. and paste it here and basically ask the patient how is he feeling after the appointment should they mm -hmm. schedule not another meeting yeah, um, it's just important to mention that that can be done with the email because uh, actually patient can reply to it but for the sms it's not an option because you cannot reply to the sms that's that's correct and the third option is on the same day at uh, at the time so uh, at on the day of the appointment at which time will the notification mm -hmm. be sent so not uh, for example, under appointment follow-up, uh, you choose how long after the appointment the notification will be sent. Um, so if the appointment was at uh, 10 p.m., 24 hours after the appointment would be actually the next day. And in here, the, uh, can, the custom notification can be configured so it's on the same day at a specific time. Mm -hmm. So that basically... Uh, covers the new options with uh, custom notifications. Mm -hmm. And one small improvement that I want to mention is HTML mode. Uh, yes. That is added not just to the custom notification, but for any any type of the notification. So you can use HTML to uh, build your email, add images, highlight things that are important to you, and so on. That's that's right. Um, that's basically it, I would say. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you guys for watching. We have a, a small uh, promo for you. Actually, um, you can use code custom notification. I will write that down below the video so you can have it handy. And there is uh, uh, 20 codes available uh, for 20% discount for any license. Thank you very much for watching and see you again in the next video. Thanks guys. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye. Take care.